All right, come on, let's have it. Did you get the answer right? Hatch Valley doing work in 2004. Look at that, 699 points. Quarterback Lawrence Gilligan leading the way. No, that's just a big tall tale I just made. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. Remember in Ace Ventura, the old laces out comment? The field goal was no good, and you know the rest of the story. Well, the Goddard Rockets have had a whole offseason to fill that story. It wasn't a field goal, but extra point that sent the Rockets home with their chin scraping the ground, and the Aztec Tigers singing the song Celebrate. Yep, they won by one for their first state title since 1953. It's not all bad for the Rockets in 2012. In fact, it may be wise to pick them to win it all. Consider this, the Rockets won 11 games in a row before coming up short in the 4A state title game to the Aztec Tigers 28-27. Although the Rockets will be without star running back David and I and quarterback Ryan Green, head coach Sam Jernigan will turn to junior Cody French. French played last season as a wide receiver and defensive back, but is expected to take snaps as a quarterback as he's one of the most athletic out there in Rocket Blue. But hold up just a minute. Coach Cooper Henderson and the Artesia Bulldogs will have a say. Now, if you had to pick anyone else holding blue at the end of the season, it has to be the Bulldogs. Goddard knocked them out of the playoffs last season. While the Bulldogs lose the top quarterback is Skylar Morton, the team is all set up front in the trenches on both sides of the ball and look to make a run through the air with a pair of potential 1,000-yard receivers. We are all familiar with 5A powers Las Cruces and Mayfield in the southwest part of the state, but could a 4A power emerge? There's something new in Cruces. Our Lawrence Gilligan explains. Lawrence. Uh, yeah, Van, 4A is usually dominated by the Southeast Goddard and Artesia High Schools and Aztec for northern New Mexico. But how about a 4A powerhouse being built in Las Cruces? One former coach from right here in Albuquerque is building the foundation as we speak. You know, when I took this job, a lot of people said, oh, people, kids aren't going to want to play there. They're going to want to go to the other schools. And uh, we have about 90 kids out here. <laughs> the kids are real excited about playing football for us. With around 90 kids on the field, you would expect at least one senior, right? Eh, wrong. The Hawks are a team filled with underclassmen. For Coach Ocampo, it's safe to say it's been a definite learning experience. It's been different because at Manzano, we had such great leadership and we had such great kids that just kind of every year the kids did it. And, and, you know, it was like very little coaching going on. The kids just kind of kind of played and knew our system. Here we're having to teach our system. So it's real fun. Uh, but, you know, it's arduous at times because, you're, you know, you're, you're trying to get the kids to learn. Some great guys out here. We have just a great team and we've gained a really big bond with each other. Better bond than I've ever had. One player that Coach Ocampo is high on is junior quarterback Quevin Redding. Redding brings his talents from Chaparral High, hoping to bring a tempo and pace to the offense that has a familiar speed of a couple of former quarterbacks Ocampo had right here in Albuquerque. You know, the Ryan Trujillo's, the Tyler Kruger's, the Quafshawn Branches, he's definitely in that mold. You tell him once and he knows that he's like having a coach on the field. You know, he's got to develop a lot in our offense and there's a lot of improvement he can make, but he's uh, doing a heck of a job for us. It's really great. It's really fast. It's a lot faster than I thought it would be. And it's a lot more running, which is just exciting. As we go through the season, we'll be able to put in more and play faster and do things, but I'm really pleased with where we're at right now. I'm really pleased. Well, you know, maybe they might actually teach him how to shave down there in Las Cruces. I'm not sure. <laughs> Man, <Did> <laughs> Coach Ocampo hopes to have the same success he had in purple as Manzano compiled an 84 and 40 record under his 12 year reign as head coach, making it to the semifinals three straight years and the championship game in the Class 5A championship in 2010. Centennial High will be in District 3 in Class 4A with Chaparral, Deming, and Santa Teresa. Back to you. Yeah, I know Lawrence is heading down there with a bottle of shaving cream and a razor after the show <laughs> is over. Well, uh-huh. Well, like Lawrence just mentioned, New Mexico high school football champions are always associated with the southern part of the state, whether southeast or southwest. And Valencia County, Belen, Los Lunas, and Valencia are trying to bring the conversation to their neck of the woods. Go. Los Lunas Tigers will probably carry the torch for Valencia County this season. Quarterback Chris Wisniewski had a solid campaign last year, leading his team to a 9-3 record. This is his senior year, enough said. That we're here to play, you understand? Yes, sir. We're here to defend our home turf, you understand that? Yes, sir. Let's play hard, let's play smart. Perfect to near-perfect seasons were becoming the norm at Berlin High under head coach Jeff Lerma, but injuries ravaged the Eagles last season, leading to a 5-4 record. Look for the Eagles to bounce back in 2012. The only blemish on the Valencia Jaguars record in 2011 was in the state semifinals to eventual champion Aztec. The Jaguars lost at least 15 players who contributed a lot 
to last year's team. They also lost Coach Kelly Lee to Eastern New Mexico. The good news for the Jaguars is that they still have an abundance of talent, and their coach is Kevin Jolly, who spent a few seasons with Lee on his staff at New Mexico Military Institute. He, too, can see the rising power of football in Valencia County. Hey, you know what? They, it's been the last few years um, that you see that, that we're right on the verge, Valencia, Belen, uh, Los Angeles. They're, they're right on the verge of, of becoming one of those those powers of, in the 4A football, you know, and, and hopefully we can make those changes where it's not uh, Aztec Goddard, Goddard Artesia, uh, you know, Artesia, Aztec, whatever. We, you know, we'd like to make that, that jump to where, where we see a, a Valencia County team in that, in that state championship game. Did I mention, school spirit is also high in Valencia County. Yep, the Jaguars are the winners of the 2011 Spirit Stick. They got their trophy at the end of the season, but the stick is always awarded prior to the start of the following season. They were very enthusiastic in receiving the stick. They won the Spirit Stick playoffs at the end of 2011. And remember, go to krqe.com and vote for your school. The first set of nominees for the Spirit Stick will be revealed on Monday. So if you want to win, don't call me and complain. Go vote for your school. You know what I mean? Turn on the computer, click on krqe.com, click on sports, click on your school. <laughs> Timeout is called. The power poll is on the way. And did your team make the poll? And a program that has gone from 0 to 60 in what will be four short seasons. Plus, players hoping to reach the college ranks get a big boost during the offseason. NM Prep's player combine is on the way. First, check out some clips from cheerleaders of the week in 2011.